Good evening, I'm Jane Gardner. I'm Jim Kincaid. You know, the business of higher education grows more competitive each day. Old Dominion University signed an agreement this morning in an effort to keep local students from leaving the area. Jane, that pact with Thomas Nelson Community College puts students at the Peninsula campus on equal standing with underclassmen at ODU. David Freeman tells us it's a competitive boost for both schools. I'm only taking courses that I can get credit for, so it will transfer, so I'm not wasting my money. Carrie Ferguson and many other students at Thomas Nelson Community College want to finish their education at a four-year school. Old Dominion University President Joseph Markello wants the business. And so this smooth is the transition between the community college and the university. The agreement signed by Markello and Thomas Nelson President Thomas Kubala puts the community college student on the same track as freshmen and sophomores at the University in Norfolk. It precludes any difficulty whereby a student transferring from Thomas Nelson will find another set of rules to follow when he or she gets over to ODU. Despite the agreement, Markello's Old Dominion and Kubala's Thomas Nelson still operate on different schedules. A lot of quarter classes don't transfer to a semester school, so it's a problem. You have to sort of orient yourself to what will transfer. Old Dominion says everything transfers, but for the student, perception is reality. The requirement of good fiction is that all characters be characterized fully enough to justify their roles in the story. For nonfiction courses such as engineering, there's a limited supply of students. Point seven squared. I'm planning to go to Virginia Tech, and their engineering program's almost exactly compatible with this one. The presidents of both schools know they must compete for the tuition dollar. For Thomas Nelson, stronger links with ODU mean more students. Our agreement with a prestigi prestigious institution like ODU it highlights that transferability aspect. And frankly, we're trying to build that up. A competitive boost for both schools. David Freeman, 13 News, Thomas Nelson Community College. Officials in Greenville County have grown tired of a climbing death toll on...